Weapons and Ashes of Creation will have their own unique in-depth skill trees that you can spec into as you level up the weapon through usage. This is something that while not new to the MMO genre, you normally don't see it this in-depth when going alongside classes which also have their own unique skill trees. But it is something that I am personally looking forward to as it gives you a whole different way of customizing your character to your liking, especially because weapons aren't locked behind specific classes. In the latest Ashes of Creation showcase, we got a brand new look at the wand weapon skill tree and saw the possibility of customization with it. And since then, you may have seen Intrepid drop some different wand builds to further customize your playstyle, specifically one that we're going to look at today with a more direct damage focus. The point of this build is to have your wand specialized to deal increased direct damage via projectiles, which will come in very handy when you're waiting for your abilities to cool down. And if you notice the gameplay that Intrepid did show, the damage dealt does seem to increase with more consecutive wand usage compared to the beam spec, which seems to do a normal 15 to 18 damage when beams are aren't triggered. The downside to these videos though is that you don't actually get to see the specs as they are quickly scrolled through before getting to the gameplay in a lower quality YouTube short style video. But luckily we have pause buttons and the wiki. But before we dive too much into this though, keep in mind all of this is very early. There is a very good chance that some of these, if not all of these, could change in some way with how they work, they could be buffed or nerfed, or even have their names slash icons changed or be deleted altogether. It seems to be more meant to give us an idea of how these weapons will work when Alpha 2 launches and they'll get fleshed out even further as the Alpha 2 progresses. Starting in the bottom left, you have burning projectiles. With this, every wand projectile and beam has a 10% chance to burn the target. Moving into this box in the bottom left, you have wand hit 5 extra damage, which deals 15% more base damage for each tier it's upgraded, which can be up to 3 tiers. You then have Elemental Lure, which it's specced into 1 tier in this build, which increases your wand damage by 3% per application of burning, chilled, or volatile on the target up to 9%. And then the last one in this box is Elemental Attunement, which increases the trigger chance of Elemental Status Effect Wand procs by 5%. Going up the left hand side, you have Essence Harvest, which every time you trigger a wand proc, you have a 50% chance to increase the magical power by 3% for 10 seconds, which stacks up to 5 times. You then have Perfect Timing, which adds a 25% chance to gain the perfect timing proc upon completion of the weapon combo finisher and extended finishers. This rate increases to 100% upon beam finishers. The perfect timing proc reduces the cooldown of the next ability you cast by 5 seconds. In the top left box, you have three tiers of wand projectile damage, which increases the damage of all wand projectiles by 8% for each tier. You then have extended duration 1 and 2, which extends the duration of the echo and perfect timing proc effects by 2.5 seconds. And then you have two tiers of extra stacks, which the second strike and perfect timing now stack up to two times. Moving over towards the right and starting in the middle, you have wand hit 6, which triggers weapon finisher effects. From there to the top, you have wand hit 6 plus, which wand hit 6 plus now gives you a 25% chance to on the 6 hit to instead fire a beam at the target that triggers proc effects. This deals 50% more damage if the previous wand combo hit also was a beam attack and it triggers the weapon finisher effects. You then have 3 tiers of wand hit 6 extra damage which wand hit 6 deals 15% more base damage for each tier specced into. In the bottom right you have 3 tiers of what is called wand damage focus 1, 2, and 3. With this it increases the damage of all wand projectiles and beams by 5% for each tier. And then last you have the two specs at the top which allow you to choose which skills you wish to unlock. The ones selected for this build are Keen Edge which causes direct damage and healing abilities a 30% chance to proc this which will cause your next weapon combo finisher to have 100% chance to critically hit. The one on the right is Catalytic Projectile, which after a standard wand hit 5, your next hit 6 or hit 6 plus has 15% increased damage and 10% increased chance to critically hit. These bonuses double against burning, conflagrating, and shocked targets, which are all possible player debuffs. Now it's really hard to give a good comparison of how this build will work based on some 30 second clips of gameplay, but as I said earlier, the direct damage build with the basic weapon and attack starts with lower hitting auto attacks. In this instance, starting around 15 and increasing with each attack, doing about 156 damage total in those six casts. The last hit with the combo finisher has a 30% chance to crit, which it does here for an additional 79 damage, bringing the total of 235 weapon attack damage. 
Looking at the beam spec, well, your base damage on the wand is a lot less, and it doesn't gradually increase like it would with the direct damage build. But when a beam is triggered, it does a quick burst of additional damage, which in this case appears to do an additional 128 damage in that burst, on top of the already dealt 73 damage, bringing the total to 201. So, based off these two examples, the direct damage build does slightly more. Obviously, this could increase or decrease depending on how often you hit your procs, along with your gear, your level, and all of that sort of thing. Intrepid also released a third spec which is more focused on dropping procs that could increase your abilities powers, and while I really think that they could have done a better job showing that off in this video, you do notice that damage is constantly lower than the direct damage or beam spec, which is the trade-off, as these procs will increase your core ability power and not be as dependent on auto weapon attacks. Overall though, the customization of the wand already looks amazing heading into Alpha 2, and it still has a long ways to go. It really does, even now at this point, give players the freedom to truly customize these weapons into specific specific playstyles to match those of their archetypes, and I really can't wait to see what other types bring to the table.